Hey everybody, my name is Pamela McNear and thank you for watching. So this is a review. I bought a heavy duty Z truck track with an orange base. It says truck, but it's a clothes rack. And um, they have a short little clip on um, storesupply.com is where I bought it from. And they have a really short clip on how to um, put it together. And um, I bought it to hold a bunch of clothes on for a boutique and to transport clothes in and out of for events. Um, I've got the wheels on, I've got the base together, I've got the sides up, and um, somewhere over here, way over here. <laughs> and it was all super easy. And now I'm getting to the little part that goes on this to hold the cross beam up. And I got these together, and um, I got these little things on there. And I want to tell you, um, I'm telling you this because this is the difficult part. I had no idea. These things have a rubber grip. You want to see the right there on the end? I know it's not perfect, but you can see it. So you actually have to use the little wrench that they provided. They provide all the tools to put it together. Um to get this on here like you can get it so far and then it just stops and it's like you can't do it anymore so you have to use the wrench but i'm telling you that because there's four of these little coupling things four of these came in and i just stuck two together i didn't know but um actually there are two this at least this is the way mine is i don't know if this is standard or what but i just wanted to share this in case anybody else got here but, um, <clears throat> so this is going to go on the bar there to hold your cross beam. Well, they give you these little screw doohickey things to go in here to stop it on the bar so it won't slide down while you're trying to put the other bar in because you can't clasp these until the other cross beam is in. So you got this to hold it up. Well... Only two of these little things have um, ridges in it to actually hold the screw. I did not know that, and I had put both of these little couplings with the ridges on it together, and the other end, I went and tried to put my screw in, and it wouldn't go, and I was like, what's going on? So I looked, and so um, two of the couplings have ridges to actually hold the screw in. So you will want to make sure that you have one coupling on each end that has um, that has the yeah little ridges in it for the screws. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, just complete this one and show you just show you a little bit how it. This is the most difficult part of the whole thing, but it's not gonna be too bad because you can have this already put together and on there. And I can take this apart and then reassemble it at the event. Um, I'm going to leave the base together and the poles just come straight out. And then I'm going to leave this on the standing poles and just unhook it enough to get my cross beam out. And then just hook them up and up, put my cross beam in and tighten it back up. So um, I'm going to put this little, I think these are called nuts. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know all the terminology for this stuff. But, um, just, and it is not, you know, the most smooth going thing, but it does work. But that has been the most, um, that was the most difficult part so far, um, was getting these little coupling things put together. The instructions, the instruction video that's on the storesupply.com for this product was not, um, did not cover that. And it did not even cover putting the little screw. You see her putting it in, but they didn't go over that. So, um, yeah. Anyway. So I'm, I'm just tightening that up just a little bit because it's got to be able to move out so I can put the cross beam up and I'm probably I'm going to try to stop it so that 
or do it so you guys can see the finished product. The wheels do have locks on them. There's only two wheels with locks, so um, accidentally <laughs> I got a wheel on each opposite end with locks on it before I realized. I was like, hey, where? I thought. So here's what's funny is I actually thought these went on the wheels to for as a lock. I had no idea. So um, I thought I was missing pieces. <laughs> And I actually thought it was taller. It says it's supposed to be 63 inches wide. And it might be. It just doesn't look very wide. But we'll see. I will definitely get a tape measure out and measure it. Because I got it for the 63 inches wide. I paid the extra money to have the sturdier heavy duty. I think this one's like 3, 4, 400 pounds. It'll hold. So, I have a lot of dresses. I have to be hung up. Alright, so now I'm going to put this on the bar. Alright, so I hope you can see this. Um, so, I'm going to put this on here. And it, they give you a little Allen wrench to... Um, Tighten this little screw up here to hold it on the rail while you do the other stuff. Now, I've got the other one up on the other side. And there's my wrench. I'm going to lay this stuff down. And we're going to see if I can actually slide this in here. There's no way. I've gotten it too tight. Okay. So I'm gonna have to untighten it some more. This is a pain. This is a pain. But that's why I'm doing it now, so I know what to look forward to when I get to the event. How much time I need. opening up at all. I'm wondering. This is a two person job. I say that because I think this is too tight. Alright, opens up. We'll see if I can do this. Open more. Okay, so this will give you an idea if you can do it or not by yourself for sure. And I checked to make sure that I have it on the right way and according to their pictures from the video I do the instructions I will show you the instructions that came with this piece well or the lack of instructions let me show you okay let's see if that works now I'm just going to ever so gently lay it there. Going to tighten this up first. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, well, that's not doing anything, but okay. Alright, so now we're back here. Let me see. 
I need all the heights I can get. We're going to go down to this end. I'll be right back. I'm going to check on the baby. Okay, we're back. We're going to try to get this off now. <laughs> First of all, we're going to No idea where that just went. Oh, I see it. Okay. Let's see if we can tighten this up first. I don't know what's going on, but it's like the wrench is stretching out or something. Okay. There we go. Better. We found a groove. Maybe. I think it's tight.
this should hold me up because I do not even weigh 200 pounds and it's supposed to be three or four, four or 500 pounds. Yeah, so. Ow. <laughs> okay, so. I'm scared to put all on it. Okay, it's holding me up. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, so um, it holds me up. You cannot pull it up because there's nothing holding the bars in the thing, but I will show you. I'll take you off the stand and I'm upside down. And hang on, let me turn this around. Okay, so there's the stand, the base. There are, under here, um, there's two screws here putting the Z part in on each end. This is not connected in. So I'm sure if you gave equal weight to each end or each side and pull up, it would come out. So there you go, guys. That is the Heavy Duty Z truck um, clothing rack from... Oh, storesupply.com, and here is the lack of instructions that comes with it. You can see that. That's what comes with it. So, I hope you guys have a great day, and I hope this helped. Have fun.